Good day, crafty chums. It's Nikki here, aka Carson Decat, a D aka Carson Decat's live. Couldn't get my words out then. Um, so this is uh, Sunday, Nikki's Index Card Sunday, or Nix as I like to call them. Uh, here you can see see me actually cutting my index card size. I don't have any index cards yet, um, so I'm just cutting a, a piece of um, drop paper, rolled out paint paper. Um, to the right size, 3x5. Well, I like to do 3x5s, um, and you can get them 4x6s as well, so you know, really up to you what size you do. And here are some strips of paper that I had left over from projects last week. And uh, so I ripped them up, and so I'm sticking them down now onto the index card. Um, just although it looks like. Um, being quite particular I actually thought I was being quite random but hey ho <laughs> that's the way it goes you think you're doing it all random and actually you're it looks like I'm um, being quite careful with how I place them so there you go I can't just slap them on even though I wanted to <laughs> oh that's the way it goes so, and I stamped out a stamp there, and it's from the Greeting Farms um, Sweet and Toxic stamp, Sweet and Toxic stamp range, and I've got her stamped out on tissue paper, and I'm j I popped her down with some Mod Podge, and now I'm just going over the background just to knock it back with some gesso. I thought I was going to use clear gesso on her to so that you could see part of the background in the painting but in the end I decided not to and for some reason we skipped ahead in the video there and um, I've already got her painted out and I used a flesh tone acrylic paint um, my usual colours that I like actually for a Christmassy thing so uh, and the tapioca and um, green, hunter green and um, hot pink and <laughs> just trying to give you all the colours there and uh, whatever colour that was light periwinkle uh, I'm just going round of course I'm not try when I painted it out I wasn't very careful about going in the line so now I am just colouring in some of the lines there as well, just getting them back always helps when you're um, not very careful when you're painting. I don't know why I wasn't very careful, I just wasn't. Partly to do with my eyesight and the lighting and I don't know what it is. With the, yeah. In her hair band she has uh, two skulls and um, they're on like ribbons so I decided to paint out the skulls because it's not Halloween it's like a Christmassy um, what I'm doing here so I painted out her skulls and uh, and they're just big fat ribbons now they look like sweets or you know wrapped candy or something on there so yeah anyway <laughs> I think I decided to leave her hair as it was because you just got a little glimpse of the back ground in the hair and I thought that's quite nice rather than painting in the hair that's what I intended at that point <laughs> and now I've just got a stamp there and I'm stamping in some Christmas trees either side of her I should say pine shouldn't I rather than Christmas trees but never mind <laughs> And I'm using my watercolour crayons there, my Caran d'Ache Neo colours and just doing some grass around her, just, just doing it really simple, not making it a complicated thing at all because I'm just having some fun with it, stamping up a star with words on to go at the background there. This was a stamp set I got free in a magazine, it's quite nice. big fat star you know if, it, if I was doing a proper scene in that it wouldn't be a, that big a star in the sky <laughs> I'd be quite worried if a st star got that big in the sky so yeah I should have done a night sky really but I just went for a blue make it nice and bright and cheerful 
Should have gone for a darker sky, really. If there's a star there, it should be <coughs> should be a dark sky, but never mind. And I'm putting on some uh, snow writer there. It's a three-dimensional snow effect. It's quite nice. I quite like it. Now I clean the nozzle, it runs much more freely than it did before. <laughs> and I'm using it there as snowflake dots, which is good also. And uh, I'm getting towards the finish now, I'm using glitter glue. I forget what the make is, I don't actually have it with me out, so... You know, just using a red glitter glue there on the um, skulls and the, that and her little plaid band. And there you go, cute little girl. So uh, thanks for watching and um, hope to see you again soon. Bye.